hello, how to solve this exponential problem and find all values of t that satisfy this equation, we have t to the power of 6 equals 2 to the power of 6. So what we are going to do is to move this 2 power 6 over here. It becomes negative 2 power 6, so we have t power 6 minus 2 power 6, and this equals 0. Now, let's express this 6 as the product of 3 and 2, and also express this as the product of 3 and 2, so we can make use of the difference of 2 squares. So we are going to have t to the power of this is 3 times 2, minus 2 to the power of this is 3 times 2, equals 0. Now, if you have a power n times n, this equals a power n, or to the power of n. So you apply this identity right here, and here, you are going to have t to the power of 3, raised to the power of 2, minus 2 to the power of 3, raised to the power of 2, and this equals 0. Now, the next step will be for us to make use of difference of two squares because there is power 2 here and there is also power 2 here and the separation here is negative. Remember difference of two squares if you have a power 2 minus b power 2, this equals a minus b times a plus b. And this is our a while this is our b. So for a minus b, we have t power 3 minus 2 power 3 times for a plus b, we have t power 3 plus 2 power 3 and this equals 0. So what we are going to do is to equate each of these to 0. We have t power 3 minus 2 power 3 equals 0, or we have t power 3 plus 2 power 3 equals 0. Now, we are going to solve each of these equations. So let's start with this cubic equation. For us to solve this, we are going to use this identity to expand. If you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times, this is a squared plus a b plus b to the power of 2. And in this case, we have a equals t and b equals 2. So let's make use of this. We have a minus b that is t minus 2 times, this is t power 2, plus 2t, two plus 2 to the power of 2, and this equals 0. So from here, we have t minus 2 times, this is t squared, plus 2t, plus 4, and this equals 0, so let's equate each of these to 0. We are going to have t minus 2 equals 0, or t squared plus 2t plus 4 equals 0. Now, if t minus 2 equals 0 from here, we simply move this negative 2 over here, we have t equals 2. So this is our t1. Now we have this quadratic equation to solve for other values of t. So if you have t squared plus 2t plus 4 equals 0, you can solve for t using the formula method. You have t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, the variable, 2 times a. And the equation of t squared here is 1. The equation of t here is 2, and this is c, b, and this is our a. So let's insert it right here. 
we are going to have t equals negative beta is negative 2 plus or minus square root of b squared that is 2 power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 4 divided by 2 times 1 we do it divided by 2 times 1 so we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of this is 4 minus 4 times 1 4 4 times 4 16 divided by 2 so from here on, we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16 this is negative 12 divided by 2 and from here we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus this minus here we have square root of negative 1 times square root of 12 divided by 2 so from here we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus this square root of negative 1 here is our i times this is square root of 12 that is 4 times 13 divided by 2 so from here what we are going to have is t equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4 this is 2 root of 3 divided by 2 so from here we have t equal this cancel this cancel this we have negative 1 plus or minus i root of 3 so we have two complex values for t we have t2 equals negative 1 plus i root of 3 and also we have t3 equals negative 1 minus i root of 3 so let's go ahead and solve the other equation for t4 t5 and t6 okay is it this one here so we are going to solve it now so let's copy it down here we have t power 3 plus 2 power 3 equals 0 now here is the equation you can confirm now for us to solve this we are going to make use of this identity in this case we have a power 3 plus b power 3 this equals a plus b times you have a squared minus a b plus b power 2 and in this case our a equals t and b equals 2 so let's insert it right here we are going to have this a plus b we have t plus 2 times t squared minus 2t plus 2 power 2 this equals 0 from here we have t plus 2 times t squared minus 2t plus 4 equals 0 so from here we are going to have t plus 2 equals 0 or t squared minus 2t plus 4 equals 0 if t plus 2 equals 0 that means we have t equals negative 2 this can be our t4 so let's solve this quadratic equation for t5 and t6 we have t squared minus 2t plus 4 equals 0 so you make use of the formula method which is t equals negative p plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a now the equation of t squared here is our a this is b and this is c so let's insert it right here 
we have d equals is negative times negative 2 plus or minus square root of this is negative 2 power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 4 divided by 2 times 1. So from here, we have t equals this is 2 plus or minus square root of this will give us 4 minus 16 divided by 2. So from here, we have t equals 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16, that is negative 12, divided by 2. And from here, we have t equals 2 plus or minus, there is minus here, we have square root of negative 1 times square root of 12, divided by 2. So from here we have t equals 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 here is i times is square root of 4 times 3 divided by 2. So from here we have t equals 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4, this is 2 root of 3 divided by 2, 2 cancels 2, 2 cancels 2. So from here we have t equals 1 plus or minus i root of 3. So we have two complex solutions for t. This is t5 which equals 1 plus i root of 3. And t6 equals 1 minus i root of 3. So these are all the solutions. For this one we have two complex solutions here. And we have one real solution. And for this other part, we have one real solution here. And we have two complex solutions below. So if you want to check for these values of t, what you need to do is make use of the real solutions, come back to the original problem. Here is it? This is the original problem here. Remember, Two real solutions are 2 and negative 2. So if you insert it here, for the 2, what you are going to have is 2 power 6. It's the same thing as 2 power 6. And 2 power 6 is 64, which equals 64. And for the negative 2, what you are going to do is just to insert negative 2 down here for t. So you are going to have negative 2 power 6 this is negative 2 power 6 is the same thing as 2 power 6 now since this is an even number negative raised to the power of even number will give you positive number so this is like saying 2 power 6 equals 2 power 6 and this symbols down to the same one here which is 64 equals 64 so the two real solutions are obviously correct so that is it thank you and goodbye